Season two speculations. Caitlin, get into it. Oh, I really wish I wrote down my speculations, but I didn't. So okay. I was too busy on other things, which you'll see in a little bit. Oh, dear. <laughs> you know what it is. It's a story. I do. I and do. Other do it. Do things. it. Do it. All right. <clears throat> She's going to end up with me, though. Like, let's be real, because so many fans want it to. But. And then I think Q and Day will become her, like, best friends. Maybe yes. Day will become bisexual and be with Q for a little bit. That'd be great. I would have loved that. <laughs> yes, I'm here for this. Keep going. Um, <clears throat> what the hell is her name? Juliana. Yuri and Juliana will be together, obviously, but Yuri is going to be like, oh, shit. She, she likes me, but oh, my God. Do I like her? And then she, it's just going to be like them walking hand in hand and Yuri is just looking back like that. And be like, oh god, I don't, I don't know what to do. And then, and then, <laughs> so much pining. It's gonna be like, imagine no, me. And there's you. so much pining. Yes. Which which movie is the poster where like the girls are holding hands behind? Yeah, imagine me. And is you. that imagining you? Yeah. So it's gonna be Classic. that. They're gonna recreate that with the tr- love trees all around. Yes. Don't forget the love trees. If someone could just draw that, that'd be That'd great. be amazing. Okay, <laughs> the fucking tree, though. I will get into tree stuff later. Let's just jump into speculation. I'll just wrap shit up with the tree later, because it's just weird. Okay, all right. I agree with everything you're saying, and I ha- I here's why. Okay. Here's why I'm not mad at the Mino thing. I, I do think that when we come back in season two, Kitty will be with Mino. I definitely think that's going to happen. And I think Juliana and... Yuri will still still be together. I love your theory of Day and Q. I hope that that happens. Because Q could do better than Florian the cheater. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, at times he was cute, but... Also, he needs therapy. Like, Uh, that boy needs therapy. He needs to focus on himself right now. He needs to focus on him. I agree. I agree. It's no no shade to him, but he's going through a lot. Maybe he just needs friends. Okay, but I think here's why I think that all is going to go down. And why I think Kitty smiled. It has nothing to do with Mino, actually. I think that she sees he's friend zoned by her. And I think what happened was is her in her headspace, she she likes Yuri. She literally just almost told that girl, like, I'm in love with you. That was what was happening in the airport before she got twelve blocked by everybody. So she's in that place of, oh fuck, like I could have confessed my feelings and then I didn't. And so she has all these residual feelings of Yuri. And Yuri's girlfriend just showed up. Who she's heard her talk about and, like, knows they've been together forever. And she's like, crap, you're not really an option, are you? So that's her headspace. It wasn't, like, a rejection. It was just, like, a this can't happen. What the fuck was I just doing? Then Mino shows in. Who, I love this, too, because it Day also thinks that Yuri was into Mino. And that's why she was being weird and like she's like oh yeah Felix or somebody else it's him isn't it and she never like cleared that up with him so like there's this whole drama of like oh yeah she was been into him which is not true so I think that she smiles because she's like okay I can make her jealous or like I, I I have somebody and like whatever like I'll be fine like I think she's basically gonna use him as a beard of sorts mm-hmm to be like, I'm fine. I have somebody. I have somebody. Everything's fine. Whatever. Um, and I think she's going to hide in that relationship. And then it's just going to be pining. Because this is what... It's just going to be so much pining. And it's going to be great. Because now Yuri is like, oh shit. You are an option. You're actually into me. So like, basically they're both going to be in these relationships where they're pining for each other. And it's going to break up those relationships and lead to them being together anyway. So I think this is for drama purposes. Personally. I'm a little worried that it's just going to be like she doesn't end up with Yuri. And I mean, both are plausible. I, again, I like our theories better because it does end up with them together. But I am still worried that it's just she is going to be with Mino and that's it. I don't think that's it. The whole thing is just drama. There's no drama if yeah. she's just with him. That's not I'm how I'm just trying like not to get my hopes up. I know. I don't know if her and Yuri are endgame. I don't know. I would love that. But I think they're not going to be together in the beginning. I think it's definitely she's going to be with that. Those two couples will be intact, but then they're going to break up. Mm-hmm. Because 
slow burn with the female is always how that works. Yes. And I really like the day with Q theory. I, I made them <laughs> But the producers are all like, yeah, I mean, the lesbians are used to that. So we'll just give them the slow pining. They'll be fine. I'm here for that. I love pining. Because then it's going to be jealousy and pining. That's the best. Longing looks. Yes. I'm here for that. Yeah. Yeah. And then better get season three where we get to see them happy. Because that's where we leave off is like before they actually get to be happy. I need to see the happiness too, though. There'll be, there will be happiness eventually. I'm just, I'm, Warrior Nun got to me a little. Warrior Nun, there's so many things that ended horribly. Yeah, that one's never going to be happy. <laughs> no, that was never going to be happy. But um yeah, no. There were yeah, we're used to getting burned. But you know, we're going to get a season 2. And, and either way, and like in and if she doesn't end up with Yuri in the grand scheme of things, that's okay. The point is, we have a queer female lead who is canonically queer. We did not get you can't get queer baited if you have a queer character who's queer yeah she can end up with a man that's okay she's it doesn't erase the fact that she she's is bisexual queer. well we actually we, we do don't know that. yeah we but, don't know yeah. what she is she is queer it doesn't erase that just because the sh- queer ship you want doesn't end up together doesn't make it queer baiting they're exploring this queer girl come to terms with who she is and who she wants that's fine that's okay i'm totally fine with that Yes. I mean, again, it still it will suck for our hearts and stuff. But... I mean, when your ship doesn't end up together, it's always heartbreaking. It's always yeah. a Titanic moment when your ship, ship <sighs> sinks to the bottom. But, like, we still have a queer character as a lead in a show that just got a second season. That is exciting and that is worth celebrating. Also, I do think it's important for her to explore a relationship yeah. with uh, Mino because or anybody or the opposite sex because bisexuals are erased in media they totally like once they become bi well, not become sorry for my wording um realize that they are bisexual it's always oh they have to stay with a female now right exactly that's what I'm saying like that's why in this scenario it really I mean in all scenarios it just doesn't bother me because she's still queer it doesn't fucking mm-hmm. matter and yeah, she's been in this long term, weird, long distance relationship for a year with one person who's like her friend. She needs to figure her shit out. Like, that is okay. And for me personally, as the selfish person that wants her to end up with Yuri, I'd rather she figure her shit out with somebody else so that she's in a better place to date Yuri, is what I'm yeah. saying. And like, let's be real, she's not going to end up in life with any of these people. No, absolutely not. Because <laughs> drama is what I'm saying. There's just, this is a show centered around relationship drama. So like, if their end game, it's going to be at the end. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Versus like an ex- uh, like a fleeting experiment, you know? I just mean after the show. Like, you know, no one ends up with, uh, very few people end up with people in high school. Yeah, I know. Exactly. They're in fucking high school. Everybody forgets that. They're like teenagers. Like, come on. Let them have fun. I just yeah. want to watch it. I want, if if we're going to do it, give me the pining. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then, yeah. So other speculations. I hope that Yuri's parents get divorced over the break. I would <laughs> like to That'd see. Be great. I would like to see Kitty's family in it. Just like oh, guest yeah. appearances. If they can I don't come want it visit. to become about them, but Oh, well I guess okay, wait, yeah, on that note. All right, so Cliffhanger thing is that we left off with was Kitty getting expelled from school or losing her scholarship, basically. Does she come back? Yeah. But uh Yuri was on the phone with her mom telling her to and like let's be real, Yuri guess what she wants. Yeah, which again Most I love that it's the, the children running the show again but yeah i think she definitely comes back i don't think that's even a question and yeah maybe they'll have like parents day or something where like the parents could or they come visit for like a week or something and then uh, yuri can meet her future in-laws and that'd be great yeah 
family day oh i guess okay so not really a predict or maybe a prediction speculation when does day find out that kitty likes yuri she Who told tells him, him? Who, no, she told she, him. She told yeah, him. Yeah, this last oh, episode. I literally don't remember. She literally cries being like, I like Yuri. Oh, I fucking forgot about that. How does he take that? Because he's friends technically with Yuri. I think uh, over break, he's going to be really heartbroken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, eventually, I think, see, this is when Q can come into play. Q can really help him come to terms with it true but i do and i think he's gonna ultimately just be friends with her oh i I agree that's this type of guy he is no i think that they were always really friends to period and it's gonna suck for him because she is gonna talk about how much she likes yuri to him even though she's with mino slash mino i okay i almost wonder what i would think would be hilarious is if he he gets put in the middle of all of that like because like you're saying, like you're, uh, Kitty and Day are like legitimately friends, so they can be very honest with each other. I'm hoping they get to that point. And then Yuri and Day are also friends. So I almost wonder if he gets put in the middle and the two of them are like complaining about each other to him like separately. And he's like, oh my god, I can't listen to this shit anymore. Can you guys just kiss and shut the fuck up? Like I'm tired <laughs> of hearing this. <laughs> You know and like mean? he becomes the matchmaker thing. Yes. He's like, oh my god, you like her, she likes you, just kiss. That's what I'm and saying. Shut up. <laughs> I, yeah, like I'm tired of hearing this. Like See, if this was the other way around, I feel like Mina would have definitely done that. <laughs> yes. I could see Mina doing that, like in a very public place too. <laughs> well, maybe he's a day sets up something with the Q and he's like, I cannot listen to this anymore. We need to intervene. And they like set up some like dance or whatever and like i don't know some situation where like <laughs> they put them together oh my gosh i'm here Just for that all the possibilities i'm here for that it's nice having a show with possibilities is all i'm saying yes we can actually hope <sighs> speaking of i guess fan fiction that we've been writing <laughs> should we jump on into uh, fan fiction. What you've been planning for ten minutes. <laughs> well, no, you okay. said it in the first react. I'm trying so, yeah, to find it, by the way. In the first reaction, so we're going to get into our uh, fan fiction idea insanity that came to us when we were doing our uh, reaction videos, where we basically wanted to hear more about the bomb drama and the love tree. This was actually Theora. I just went along with it. I mean me. (laughs) Because, okay, in the beginning, because in my brain, everybody was queer on the show. Like, until it's proven otherwise. Including the moms, Yuri and uh, Kitty's mom. And so there's all this mystery surrounding them where Yuri's mom's like, I don't know her. I don't know her. And then it's like they know each other. And I'm like... Were they gay together and we just had to hide that? And I um, really, like, my head went there, too. I was, like, going through all the possibilities. Yeah, I'm like, this like, seems gay, they were what together. they're doing. They were together. And and we still don't know if they were or were not together. We just know one part of the mom drama, whereas, like, Yuri's mom had a There had been at least an experimental kiss. I'm just what I'm saying. Like, we don't know the full picture. They could st- She could still be the tree. Wo- the tree person could still be Yuri's mom. That's in my head, Ganon. That's the mystery person. <laughs> and Simon is the alias that she was calling Yuri's mom. Because Simone. you know you Simon. That's what I'm saying. Simon. So okay, so we were trying to incorporate the love tree into this, which is what we named that tree. So we fed it to Chat GPT. Let's see what it gave so, us. This is what Theora gave me to give it. I told Chat GPT four, not three point five. Uh, write a story about Exo Kitty, a spinoff from the movies to All the Boys I Loved Before. With this storyline, Yuri's mom and Kitty's mom are secretly dating in a time culture where they have to be closeted. Dot, dot, dot. And then a mystery tree gets in between them. The yes! possibilities for that are endless. <laughs> I didn't read this whole thing. We had to generate a couple different things because of pronouns. Um, and 
then it just kind of got confused. So we have a couple things to read. So this is, I will try to read as fast as possible, uh, but not too fast. So you can still slightly understand me. <laughs> just insanity. <laughs> the title that ChatGPT wrote. Exo Kitty, Tangled Roots. <laughs> I already love it. Tangled Roots. Kitty's song Covey was more than just an endearing, spunky teenager. Her experiences as the youngest sis- younger sister of Lara Jean Covey, who became famous for her love letters into All the Boys I Loved Before series, had given her an uncanny wisdom about love, secrets, and the complexities of relationships. Meanwhile, Yuri was a mysterious, quiet teenager of Russian descent. He was an enigma. This is why we had to rewrite it because it kept saying he. He was, was an enigma. Of Russian descent? <laughs> yeah. That caught everyone's attention, including Kitty's, when he moved to her small town. His mother, Natalia, was an equally intriguing figure, a brilliant botanist with a hidden past. Natalia and Dr. Covey, Kitty's mom, were not initially close, but do they just call her Dr. Covey the whole time? Because that'd be freaking hilarious. We're not initially close, but they were thrown together more often than not due to their kids' budding friendship. Over time, an unspoken bond developed between the two women. Kitty and Yuri noticed, but they kept silent, respecting the private nature of their mother's relationship. That is not Kitty at all. Nope. Oh. Lies. As the months went by, a peculiar event evolved, occurred. A massive tree, an unusual <laughs> species unknown to the town's botanists, suddenly sprung up in the middle of the local park. It became the talk of the town, drawing spectators, scientists, and even media coverage. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Amidst all the chaos, Kitty and Yuri noticed Natalia's sudden silence and tension every time the tree was mentioned. Noticing the unease in both their mothers, Yuri and Kitty decided to go get to the bottom of the mystery. After sneaking into Natalia's home office, they found a rare book of botany. This is why I think it's hilarious, because this is reminiscent of when they snuck into Lee's house. (laughs) Um, The book contained an exact sketch of the strange tree, along with a peculiar note written in Russian. Getting the note translated revealed an old Russian folklore about a tree that only grows when two soulmates denied of their love are in despair. What? <laughs> Kitty's, pretty good. Kitty's heart pounded in her chest. Could this folklore be linked to their mothers? Were they secretly in love? <gasps> Yuri and Kitty confronted their mothers with the evidence. After a long silence, their mothers admitted their secret. Both were heartbroken that they had to hide their relationship, but feared how the small town and their families would react. The revelation stunned Kitty and Yuri, but they chose acceptance and support over shock. You can have both. I know, what the fuck? (laughs) Kitty, driven by her strong sense of justice, couldn't bear seeing her mother and Natalia in pain. Inspired by- what is her mother's name? in this i just want to know inspired by her sister's daring love letter she penned a heartfelt letter to the townspeople explaining her mother's situation and the folklore (laughs) of the mystery tree okay her bravery was rewarded kitty's letter became a rallying point for the townspeople just picturing this letter that everybody's like we must worship the letter (laughs) Who gradually started to understand and support Dr. Covey. It's just Dr. Covey. Yeah, they're not named in Italia Natalia's either. relationship. The tree, once a symbol of hidden love and despair, became a symbol of hope, acceptance, and strength for the town. I know this is the paragraph that really confuses the shit out of me. The spinoff, Exo Kitty, was a heartfelt journey of understanding and accepting love in its many forms. It not only carried the legacy of two all the boys I've loved before, but added new layers of complexity, love, and acceptance. In a world that still grappled with acceptance, Kitty and Yuri's story became a beacon of change and hope. Okay, so it sounded like we were writing a review or something with that. It does sound like it. (laughs) So... I told it, write a story continuing the show, and Yuri and Kitty are lovers as well. (laughs) Of course Um, you did, Caitlin. (laughs) And then I forgot to tell that uh, Yuri is not a dude, so I'm gonna ignore... Just change um, the pronouns. I was just, I'm ignoring what it wrote. So then I said, wait, Yuri is not a dude, she is a cisgender lesbian. And ChatGPT responded with this. I apologize for misunderstanding, let's correct that. Title, Exo Kitty, Love Letters Unfolded. 
After the community's acceptance of Dr. Covey and Natalia's relationship, life in their (laughs) small town returned to a new kind of normalcy. Wait, I'm sorry, wait, wait, wait. It continues from that and not the show. (laughs) I love how Johnny B.D. is like, this tree business is canon. Let's keep going. The thing is, I would have had to start a new chat because, like, anything in that one chat, it will continue it, and it's, like, very annoying once you get to a point. You're like, no, ignore those messages. Use that one, not that. And it's just, I fight with it so much sometimes. All right. After the community's acceptance of Dr. Covey and Natalia's relationship, life in their small town returned to a new kind of normalcy. The tree had transformed from a nominally... Nom- an anomaly to a symbol of courage and love's power against societal norms. It attracted yes. tourists and was often the backdrop of many photos, with its story being retold time and again. I, I really, I was hoping that you would uh, put that up. In the midst of all this, Kitty and Yuri found themselves drifting towards each other. What began as a joint effort to uncover a mystery and aid their mothers had developed into a deep and unique friendship. As time passed, <sighs> This friendship took on the colors of something deeper and more profound. The a connection <laughs> neither of them had anticipated. By the way, you were saying everything that I'm actually thinking in my head, so... Nice. We're good. We're sharing the rainbow. though. <laughs> <laughs> Both girls remember the pivotal night under the, mysteri- mi- under the mystery tree when they confessed their feelings for each other. It was late, the stars twinkling above them, as they exchanged their dreams, fears, and hopes. It was that night under the vast expanse of the starlit sky when they shared their first kiss. A Aww. moment as magical as the lore surrounding the tree. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Not to scream you. <laughs> <laughs> However, oh their relationship was not without challenges. Kitty, heavily influenced by Lara Jean's whirlwind romance, had high expectations for love. Actually, that's pretty accurate. On yeah. the other hand, Yuri, witnessing her mother's struggles, struggles, was hesitant to express her feelings openly for fear of f- facing societal backlash. Their contrast, contrasting attitudes towards love led to a whirlwind of emotions, misunderstandings, and even a temporary break. Despite the hurdles, Kitty and Yuri's love for each other... Per- oh my god, that's a dog. Sorry. <laughs> There's a dog on my leg and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Despite the hurdles, Kitty and Yuri's love for each other persevered, inspired by her sister and her mother's journey. Okay. I was like, her sister and her mother, what? (laughs) Kitty decided to pen a heartfelt love letter to Yuri, pouring out her feelings and desires. She slipped it under Yuri's bedroom door, holding her breath for the response. Such a bust piece. The next day, Kitty found a letter in return, penned with Yuri's handwriting. Yuri had echoed Kitty's sentiments, expressing her fear of societal judgment, but also her love for Kitty. She confessed that she was ready to face whatever came their way, as long as they were together. The Exo Kitty let- love letters unfolded series continues the legacy of who all the boys have loved before. The series not only sheds light on the struggles and triumphs of LGBTQ plus relationships, but also explores the courage required to be true to oneself to love openly, and to break societal norms. Kitty and Yuri's love story adds another layer to the series, echoing the belief that love is indeed a force to be reckoned with. Damn, chat, GPG. <laughs> Obviously, this is not what we asked it at all. Oh, not uh, at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just to preface that, that was for uh, entertainment purposes only. Only. All right, so now we know the tree mystery. Tangled roots. That was a lot. (laughs) It was. But now we're going to move into your random trivia (laughs) section. Caitlin was all about figuring everything out about this show, period. I didn't have that long, okay? You're quite the detective. I I binge watched Yellow Jackets in the middle of this week, so. My brain is Exo Kitty and Yellow Jackets. And those, if you know both shows. <laughs> no, those do not go together. Although I'm sure it helps even out the mental toll that Yellow Jackets is. God, the Yellow Jackets. That show, when I have to live in that, when we talk about it, it's going to be a lot. It's okay. It's going to be All okay. Right. 
I'm, I'm ready. To, are you ready to get your Yeah, I want to hear. The notes on this outline just say boo ha ha ha. So I want to see what Caitlin has. <laughs> it's, okay, so this section is called Caitlin's Random Trivia that she found quickly on the internet and other stuff. And then Theory writes, what's other stuff? And then as I'm typing out my response, she goes, never mind, don't tell me. I want to be surprised. And I've already wrote, you'll have to find out later. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's do it. I want to know what you got. Oh, it's so good. Know. Can you show me? Wanna... Okay. Amino and Yuri are siblings. What? In real life. The actors? Damn, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah. Good. So That was the first thing I learned. I'm like, damn. And then you go back and watch the show. It's, it, it, I mean, yeah, but damn okay <laughs> it's so it's like mind blowing i'm like damn and the actors didn't know when they were first cast they had a so i'm just gonna use um the character names because theor doesn't know the the actual except anna because we talked i talked about her a lot but i believe day mino and anna kitty had a group chat and mino asked if he could add a sister and <laughs> I believe it was Day, and he was like, okay, I mean, I want to get to know families, but not, like, the first day of meeting them. And uh, Mina goes, oh, no, she plays Yuri. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> it's just, it's That's very crazy. odd. And the actress who plays Yuri has to go, like, in every interview and be like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're siblings, in case you didn't know that. And it blows every single interviewer's mind. That's crazy. It's Yeah, it's insane. Well, good um, thing they cast them in the characters they were cast as. Like, oh, I was weird. like, there is no chance Minho and uh, yes, Yuri are ever going to be, like, beards for each other. Yes, no, never. I know, that makes me happy. <laughs> um... If they do, that's very odd. And unethical. <laughs> um, the show did not actually do amazing in South Korea. It, like, it barely made the top ten. Wow. In that country. Um, and there was, like, a whole study, not study, but, like, theories around that. But that's all. The creator, Jenny Han, confirmed Kitty is bisexual and always was meant to be. Nice. Uh, the song, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, was seen in the first movie. <laughs> in the subtitles, the subtitles confirm they call the stepmom tree. T-R-E-E. -E. The stepmom yes. helps Kitty get to kiss. Coincidence? No. Tangled Roots. <laughs> Anna and Anthony, Anthony plays Q, did an episode on the React YouTube channel, guessing rom-coms. Um, and they had a bunch of, like, paper leaves on the table. And so guess what that show was? Tangled Roots. <laughs> no heart stopper. <laughs> Oh, I got it right oh, away oh, because of the leaves. Oh, the leaves. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. But that's when Anthony Q confirmed that um, it's cherry blossoms in the show. Gotcha. Because he said that um, it's like cherry blossoms are to us that the leaves are to Heartstopper, which is I see. perfectly. I was like, that makes sense. And then. Yeah, that's great. Um, so the cherry blossoms and the leaves. My question is, why are we like this? Because you picked out the, the tree in this show, and I'm, like, stuck on the leaves in the and other show. And Heartstopper. Yeah, I don't, it's just, it's something about the tree, the tree lore. Maybe it's a way to make the Netflix cinematic universe, they're, collect, they're connecting everything to the trees. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real conspiracy here. I'm telling you, there's, there's something going on with the trees. When you don't know what's going on, and, like, the other person does, I think you're just, like, trying to grasp something that doesn't, like, that's not a big deal, but you just want to make it a big deal and, like, to understand something. It's a big deal, man. <laughs> yes, we have merch for it now. We have merch! 
Oh, we need to make a crossover one and do trees and leaves. We do. Uh, the car scenes with um, Yuri and Kitty. Kitty. They were filmed in an actual car. It wasn't like a green screen. Like they were actually oh. driving on the road and they had the camera mounted to the car. And That's um, cool. Anna said that that was a really weird and cool experience to see. <laughs> I mean, it takes like this huge machine, like this oh, huge yeah. like mount to put it on a car. And I would, if I was the whoever was like in charge of the finances, I'd be like, God, please don't drive. Please don't drive. Please <laughs> tell me you guys did your job right. <laughs> um, Anna is able to repeat all her lines very weirdly. Like she can, you can show her in every interview, she was like repeating the trailer or anytime that she saw a clip from the old movies, she's able to just say her lines as she's watching it. And it's just oh, nice. very interesting. And they even tested her in another interview that was for Netflix. And they like said the lines of the other characters. And then one line she like perfectly word from word said that was from the first movie. Wow. And it was just very interesting. Photographic memory, I guess. And then my the last lines. fun fact is that in the Amino dream, when he's like misting himself, um, they no one was like really breaking character but that the mister when it, he stopped using it made such a high pitched sound that, that it was a really struggle for them so those Aww. are my fun facts i love that damn you got some good trivia out of the show yes i watched a lot of interviews today <laughs> Well, thank you, Caitlin. Thank you for compiling all of that and giving us the rundown on the movies also. Yes, <sighs> I, I actually worked very hard for this show. You did. <laughs> and we're getting a season two, so we'll be back to cover this again because it was awesome. But before we close out season one of Exo Kitty, uh, I think we need to hydrate a bit for this show. So now that we know yeah. Kitty's bisexual and that's been confirmed, how many shots for By Jesus would you take for Exo Kitty season one? I still don't know what a 10 is, but I kind of want to give it a nine. Ooh, yeah, that's good. I love it. <clears throat> Why? I just, I just love it. <laughs> I just, it's really cute and. Like there's the mystery and I don't, I just really love this show. I've watched it three times in like the past two weeks. You did. You you <laughs> definitely are, have been a binging. <laughs> uh, what about you? I think I would give it an eight. I think I'd give it eight. It's definitely up there. Like it's definitely slow in the beginning, but I really really liked how they did all the characters, like all of them. Mm -hmm. and flesh them out and i i enjoyed kitty's K kitty annoyed me in the beginning i all of the characters when they were when they were caricatures they all annoyed me but then i think they got better as like like stick with the show it gets it gets way better i really like her i like her queer journey like i really enjoyed it i like how it was handled how she processed it her family's involvement all of that I liked it and I think it's it, it's a good formula and I think it's gonna I think it I hope it leads to a bunch of pining because that's what I want. <laughs> I am very 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 excited for season two. Yeah and, and not just having so having a queer lead is really great and that already gets like five shots but like I liked I like Yuri and Juliana and I like Q and Florian. I like that they had multiple queer characters happening but the epicenter of all of that was just kitty figuring her shit out and i really i like i liked that i thought that really worked i loved it there was a lot of gayness i there think was. at least half the characters now that's what i'm saying like queer. yeah and they're not nothing characters it wasn't no, like my friend it's I like saw. three quarters of the characters actually because right, exactly. yeah. it's just mino and day, day right now yeah yeah basically well madison but does she, she Madison is like Florian level, if that, in terms of like Yeah. She's almost tertiary in a sense. She's a full character. Like it has like lines and, and a name on like all the other characters, but yeah. 
Well, we don't know. Maybe she's queer. Who knows? Everybody's queer in my mind. We still uh, yeah. are queer. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can imprint as much queerness as you want on the characters, which is fun. So I enjoy that too. That's why I'm giving it. <laughs> what I'm giving it. <sighs> so it was great. So if you haven't checked out Exo Kitty and uh, don't mind the fact that we just spoiled liter- quite literally the entire show between this, <laughs> these, these discussions and our reaction videos, check it out because it's actually really great and it's getting a season two like we keep saying which is, i can't get over the fact that the curse is broken that's i just can't yeah i can't i just they can't um but we have we have news for things that we have in the works that will be coming out soon after we conclude exo kitty i believe mm-hmm. what do we got coming up caitlin we the next very next thing is Heartstopper. You've heard us talk about this multiple times. It's we're because our, we're working on multiple things at yeah. the same time. We're in our rom com phase. Uh, it started out as us watching Heartstopper. And I'm like, I need to show you XO Kitty. If you like this, I need to show it to you. And so here we are. then, yeah, here we are. And then Brie has actually suggested that she wants to talk about the movie Crush. Yes, so we are all very excited about that. We are all very excited. I have not seen it since it first came out. I've only seen it once, I believe. Me too. So I think it'll be, I think we're all going to watch it together at least and then probably talk about it. But we're going to start with watching it together. Yes. And then on August 11th, the movie Red, White, and Royal Blue comes out. Woo! And we're going to do a reaction video the next day and then get it up that Wednesday. <laughs> Boom. Good luck to me and Theora. Yeah. So it's a, it the the movie, I didn't even know there was a movie. Okay. This is a book written by Casey McQuinston, I think is how you pronounce her name. She's written, she has like a trilogy, not related, three book series that are really good and super queer, um, including, she wrote I Kissed Shar Wheeler, which was an awesome book. I love Isn't that, that like Bree's book that she Bree suggested it as a book club book once and we never did it. It's really good. Um, so that's one's more like female centered queerness. This book here is like male centered queerness. It's awesome. It's like I can summarize it real quick for those not interested. If you've never heard of it, the, the movie's gonna be awesome. It's like uh, bisexual. No pressure to this movie. <laughs> no, no pressure to this movie. It's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be great. Uh, the leads are Alex, who's like the son of the president of the United States, who's a woman, which is great. Oh, And they're nice. uh, Hispanic, which is also great. So he's like the first son, I think is what they call him. Uh, he has this enemies to lovers relationship with the Prince of England. I think his name is Henry. It's been a while since I've read it. Um, And they go through all the things of relationships and then the whole being in the public eye and stuff. And it's very fun. Sounds good. It's going to be, it's going to be great. Yeah. Sounds sounds really fun. What princess diaries could be. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's got, it's got everything. It's going to be great. Um, there's other queer characters in it too in the book. I don't know about how the movie adaptation is going to handle that, but I assume one of them will have to be in it. But it's going to be great. So we're going to react to that. It's going to it's be streaming on Amazon Prime if you're interested. Uh, so yeah, we'll be reacting to that. And uh, speaking of reaction videos, all of our reaction videos are available in the full length on our Patreon. The lowest tier to get access to all of it is just $5. And oh boy, have we filmed a lot this past month? Yeah. So for the for the so for the Patreon, Patreon get the full season. Uh, YouTube only gets a few episodes because uh, editing them is a nightmare. Um, it yes, takes a lot yeah. of time, mostly, and also we want the Patreon to have all the things. So, and there's us like we we of course we can't just react. We then like gush about it afterwards too. So there's more discussion stuff that goes into our reaction videos. And it is all available on the Patreon. So all of Exo Kitty season one is on there. All of Heartstopper is going on there. The full movies that we do, all of it is on there. So if you're interested in watching something with us and re- listening to us talk as we then are. Then we also have um at least uh bi-weekly keeping up with or at least a month, we'll just say. Yeah. So we just started it. Keeping up with uh, BGE After Dark, because yes. I decided to put both of our titles for this yeah. <laughs> podcast. 
And it's literally there. us just talking about what we're up to and what kind of like queer media we're consuming outside of what we talk about in podcasts. So any crazy things that happen in our lives as well. Yeah, just uh, shooting the shit, if you will. <laughs> And then we literally we have to catch up, up every time we record. We do. Even though we talk, we talk every day when we are like actually actively working on this stuff. But we still have so much to talk about that it takes us like an hour to start recording. Yeah. It, yeah. Literally, it does. And so we just started filming that and now it's on the page. We started filming at four o'clock my time today. It is now almost 930. I know. Wait, yeah, it's been a, did it on. To be fair, we did pause to try to buy plane tickets. It's been a thing. <laughs> it's, a, it's been a thing. But anyway, we are actually signing off. Uh, so yeah, we have many, many things in co- in the works. And then we have other projects we're working on that we'll get in future months. But those are the immediate things that will be coming out soon. Uh, and maybe Warrior None. <laughs> Bree's, when Bree is up on. for it. Eventually. But anyway. I think that's all we got. Also, we got new merch, so check out the merch store. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit more merch in there. Yes, there is. There's the, We got this, the tree love. <laughs> I'm there's the also a design that. that's ca- that's called Cheers Queers, which I'm getting that in the mail. So Hell yeah. Really that's that. been, Caitlin's been wanting to do that one for a while. So, yes. Yeah. I've been trying to redo our merch store for so long. Oh, I know. Gosh. We have many uh, revampings in the work. It's just, it takes time. And we are, we are people with full-time jobs who are doing our mm-hmm. best. Yes. All right. Well, thank you for listening. Yes. We'll see you next time. Bye. On Big Gay Energy. Bye. <gasps> gay it up all over the place. <gasps> Hydrate for it. Lesbian Jesus and Gay yes. it up all over the place. We need to start ending with that. Because that we is. Do. I just We have just that on cups. I was <laughs> just thinking that. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this for real. Hydrate for Lesbian Jesus. And gay it up all over the place. (laughs) Bye. Bye. And with that, we've been Big Gay Energy. If you like this episode, check out all our other episodes right here on YouTube. Please like, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more amazing super gay content. If you'd like to support us, check out our merch store. Or join our Patreon for early access to episodes, exclusive content, and so much more. 